What's happening guys? I'm Dan. Welcome back to the channel. We're diving back into more craft beer from Michigan. It is Arvon Brewing Company. Yes, I was just there last week, last weekend to be specific. Got the official Arvon glassware. It took a while. We review a lot, a lot of Arvon beer on this channel, so I thought this was very fitting for us. And guys, we have brand new beer, at least one I've never had. This is Snowdrift. Hazy IPA. Oh, imagine a hazy IPA. Hmm, weird. So, great can art from Arvon. This was canned on March 5th, 2024, and today, March, I'm sorry, April 4th, time of recording, so just under a month old. So, that's okay. That's acceptable. We like it. This is like 4 to $5 for this can. Just some retail knowledge for you guys. And yeah, let's dive in. Uh, before we do, Maybe we should talk about the ABV, 7%. And then we have a New England style IPA with Lupo Max Citra and Lupo Max Mosaic hops. So I, I love Citra, I love Mosaic. I think the Lupo Max is just like a concentrated pellet form of those. So um, could this be tasty? I think it might be. So 7% right at that threshold where I'm like, eh, getting to be a, a big beer, getting to be maybe not enough. I think it's almost perfect. I don't know. It's a good it's a good range. The two heart range. We like it. So as I'm pouring, man, she is freaking hazy. Dang. Give her a little. Yeah, dude. Look at that. Dang. Dang. That is a beautiful looking New England style beer, guys. That looks fantastic. Um, do we need to talk about it? Like, how many times can I say it's this hazy yellow? Oily goodness, uh, orange juice. It, it's the sunset, the sunrise. Yeah, looks great. Um, I expect nothing less from Arvon, guys. Um, I'm gonna let this dissipate a little bit. Great, head retention, I poured aggressively. Uh, let's try to get our fat Greek schnoz into this glassware. Let's see what it's about. Ooh. Oh man, just that fresh, hoppy, oily uh, brightness, uh, just, Super stone fruity, um, candy tropical, bubblegum zest, um, amazing hop quality. Just really fresh on the palate and the nose. I can taste it in my you know, on my tongue as I'm sniffing it. It's that strong. A little bit of herbaceousness, just a small little touch of it. Very green forwardness. I mean, it smells young. Again, it smells like a little bit of like. Uh, orange juice and pine cones just put together uh, a little blueberry note Dank cantaloupe A little bit of blueberry strawberry thing again and just I'm getting all over the board like orangey goodness um, Bubblegum hops pine cone a little bit of resin Man, it smells really good. I'm not gonna lie. It smells fantastic. Let's go on guys the snowdrift hazy IPA cheers That hits, man. That's such a good New England style beer. Oh my. It's juicy, it's oily, it's still dry and slightly bitter on the back end. Like oily pineapple, uh, oily papaya, like rose petals, a little bit of like chivy green onion, um, blueberries. Um, these, these are just like random things springing into my head right now and crushable but still IPA-ish on the back end. That's just that resinous pine, a little bit of sweet uh, maltiness, just like white bread. It, it's good, dude, it's really good. Soft mouthfeel, soft mouthfeel, juicy peaches. Um, again, sweet papaya, a little bit of like sugary nectar, Hoppy pine cone thing, just really crazy. A little bit of like dank blueberry, um, touch of floral. I, pff, dude, dude, the Lupo Max, this thing's, these concentrated like hot pellets, man. They just, they're so strong, but it makes the beer like very chewy. The mouth feels really good. It's, it's creamy and soft, kind of upper medium to full, just really good. Um, but not too sweet. You know, that's what Arvon does right. They don't make these too sweet. There's still bitterness on the back end, a little floral dryness. Wow, this is a very good New England style beer. Grapefruit zest. 
almost like a blood orange. There's just, there's so many things you could touch on. Like, I feel like it's just a big blend of stone fruit, tropical fruit, citrus, and then you still get some sweetness off the fruits, and then you get a lot of dryness and earthy, kind of resinous pine, a little bit of tree, tree sap. It, there's something very, very awesome about this beer. It's just the best of both worlds on both, both ends of sweet and hoppy and dry too. Creamy mouthfeel. It's really good, and then actually, like it's it's somewhat clean for being as hop forward and and all as descriptive as I just said. That it does like actually even out, and it just waters down a little bit on the palate as the more you drink it, your palate adjusts to all the flavors. But it's got this like high acidity content to it too. Um, just a real nice sipper at seven percent with tons of flavors. If you like New England styles, you're probably gonna like this one, guys. Bubble, bubble gum, kiwi, just all kinds of things coming on. I can't even stick to one uh, fruit. There's just too many that you could point out in this beer. It's really good. Uh, rating, I feel like the more I drink this too, I'll pick more things up and then I'll have more notes, but I'm sadly gonna end the video here. Um, hey, you're, I'm like burping up herbaceousness, just oniony grass. Um, rating, 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 rating. Again, more dank blueberry. Four, four out of five. Like, it's really tasty, guys. It's it's a super tasty beer. I love the mouthfeel of all the different aspects it brings to the table. It has great drinkability. Uh, haze bomb, but still drinkable. Crazy flavors going on. Four, four out of five. It's been the Snowdrift. Hazy IPA from Arvine Brewing Company. Thank you so much for being here. Till next time, cheers, pros, yamas, whatever the hell you want to say. It's been another cerveza.